Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar entitled Effects and Titler Pro from New Blue Effects. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create an animated title using Titler Pro. By the way, we have a new subscription service. All of our online video training, tutorials, and webinars are now available via subscription. This includes all of our Final Cut Pro 10 training and our brand new Adobe CS6 training. For one low monthly fee, you get streaming access anywhere, anytime via the internet. Plus, subscribers can attend any of our live webinars for free. This is a fast and low cost way to access all of our online training. To learn more, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. We've got the dance fan. Let's watch the effect. Okay, the dance has got red letters, it's got a white outline, it's got a drop shadow, and it's got animation applied to it. Flies in, dances around. I think, personally, that is the best pun I've come up with, like, in forever. Okay, I'm done again. <laughs> Double-click the clip to load it up into the viewer. Click the Controls tab. It's a generator. You always go to the Controls tab. Click the Setup. Okay, double-click to select the text, Dance, Fan. And let's uh, select the clip. And we'll click a style, because I like styles. They don't force me to do anything. I can just roll over one of these, blue chrome or like this. I like the baseball style. No. Let's keep looking. Now, let's see. Kind of interesting. I think I want to find something pink, like pink candy. Double-click pink candy. Double. Let's draw that up a bit. Let's rotate. Put it on the side. Change our line spacing. So far, we've just been doing stuff we've already learned. We can scale by grabbing a corner. We rotate by grabbing this top box. We've uh, changed the spacing between lines called the letting by clicking on this box up here. Grab the edge of the green and drag our dance fan up. Cool. We could just stop there, except we want it to move. This is where the real power of Titler Pro comes in, when you harness the effects and the transitions that are possible with the text. So let's first work with attributes. Object allows me to change the position of the paragraph, the thing contained by the green dotted lines. Style allows me to change its look. In this particular case, we have a look, which is the pink text and the white. Well, the white is controlled by the 3D outline. See that white color there? I'm going to just click, hold, and drag and make that a little bit thicker so we have more of a white border around it. As with all settings, you click, hold, and drag to be able to change the setting. Okay, cool, but no animation. Animation stored in the library. We have effects, which last for the entire clip, shapes, which we'll work with a little bit later in this session, styles, which allow us to style the letters, templates, which are things that allow us to, let's see, what do templates allow us? We've got all kinds of interesting templates here. And we also have transitions. Well, let's apply an effect. And I'm going to apply an effect from the starter pack, which are effects that come with the, the Titler Pro. I'll look for film camera. This is a category. So I select the category, and these are individual effects inside it. Handheld camera, electrical storm, newsreel from World War I, train ride. Trains are not that bumpy. Or earthquakes. Okay, I'll attest that's an earthquake. Double click it to apply it. Notice down in the timeline, there's our text dance fan, and the effect has been applied to the entire duration of the clip. Notice the clip itself runs five seconds. The duration of the clip is determined by the clip duration inside Final Cut 7. So if I want to make the clip longer, you don't make the clip longer inside Titler. You make the clip longer in the timeline of Final Cut. Then you open up Titler Pro and you, you can make the clip shorter. That's what this edge right here is. I can make the clip shorter, but I can't make it longer, this solid dark gray line represents the duration of the clip in my Final Cut timeline. We'll just pull that back to its regular length. Okay, so we've applied this dance fan movement 
but I want the clip to fly in and I want it to fly out. That, when I want something to change as part of a transition, is also in the library and rather than being under effects, which last for the entire duration of the clip, a transition lasts for only a part of the clip. In this particular case, I want to go to mm -hmm, Animations. There it is. And inside Animations, there's a category called Fly In. Click it, and these are all the flying ins. I've got letters that fly in, words that fly in. I've got things flying in from the left. I've got them flying in from the right. All right, let's have it double-click it, and we're going to have it fly in from the left. Two things happen. One, it switches to the Transition tab, where I can make changes to the transition. And two, it applies the transition to the beginning portion of the clip. Just as with live type, it comes in at a two second duration, which is exactly what live type did. You can change the speed of that transition by grabbing the edge of it and dragging. Make it shorter, it happens faster. Make it longer, it takes longer. I'm going to make this transition run just about a second by grabbing the right edge and dragging it. And now we'll play it. There it is. It makes its entrance right there and starts dancing around. I want to do it again. Let's go to Library, Fly In, and this time I want it to go out to uh, the left again. Double click it. It always applies the transition to the beginning, so I can grab the transition and move it to the end. Again, change the duration, and now we take a look at it. Simple template, animation from the existing collection, flies in, flies out, done. And if I hadn't had to have explained it, it would have taken, what, less than a minute to put that together? Looks cool, and there's no way I could have done that inside Final Cut. It would have taken forever. I could have done it inside motion, assuming you know how motion works, but the animations are not always the same, and the text styling is much better inside the Titler Pro than it is inside motion. To apply it, click the close box, and watch the... Oh, look at this. See that red render bar? Oh, woe is us. I have to render this effect to be able to see it wrong. This is my absolute number one favorite keyboard shortcut of all time within Final Cut Pro 7. It's Option P. What Option P does is it takes anything that requires rendering and allows you to see it in slow motion, but I don't have to wait for it to render. This allows me to check things like, did I spell it right? Is it positioned? Does it look like it's moving in the right direction? Should I even pay attention to this? Oh, it has saved me lifetimes. So we created this effect, albeit without the dancer, on that piece of video. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar entitled Effects and Titler Pro from New Blue Effects. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for webinar number 70.